Welcome back to more Pikmin 2! Last time, we went over the Piclopedia and Treasure Horde, so this time, we're starting the Challenge Mode. First up is the Explorer's Cave. Welcome to Challenge Mode! Find the key on each level and take it to the Research Pod. Try to reach the geyser on the final level within the time limit. Points are calculated based on the treasures you collect and the time you have remaining. Earn as many points as you can to achieve fame, fortune, and glory. Challenge mode consists of various floors that are very much inspired by the sub-levels from the main game. Uh, we have a ton of treasure on each floor to collect within a time limit, and in most cases you have multiple floors to get through. Um, to actually open up the exit, you have to find a key, uh, like the one over here. You have found a remarkable object. My analysis concludes it is a key to the next floor. It looks oddly familiar. Have I observed it before? Perhaps I am mistaken. It seems this treasure detects geomagnetic fields. It must have some geological effect. So basically, in this mode, if you want to get a high score, you need to strike a balance between collecting treasure and also collecting the key in a timely manner uh, to open up the exit and have enough time for the next floor. Uh, so yeah, this is actually very challenging and actually pretty fun. A hole that continues deeper underground has opened. Journey deeper for more treasures. For reasons that'll be apparent later on, I'm actually not going to worry about high score. I'm mostly going to focus on keeping Pikmin alive. Also worth mentioning, after you enter the next floor, you do get some more time, uh, which is very nice. Um, and also, on each, uh, in each challenge, you have a predetermined number of Pikmin, uh, bitter and spicy sprays, and floors. Um, but a lot of the actual like uh, details, like in the main game, uh, from what I recall, can be a little bit randomized, which can definitely be stressful, uh, especially now that we have a time limit, unlike in the main game. Uh, so yeah, I am going to focus on keeping all of my Pikmin intact. Look, the ground is cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. So unlike in the main game, the geysers are actually blocked off, so you have to actually open them first. Uh, so let's hurry over here, and um, once this is broken, we'll be able to finish up our first uh, challenge stage.
obviously I could have gotten a much higher score, uh, but you actually do want to get through every stage without losing any Pikmin, um, again, for reasons that'll be obvious later. So that actually opened up an adjacent uh, challenge here, uh, but we'll, we're, we're going to go uh, left to right uh, for this. Uh, so next up is the Novice Training. This time we have three spicy sprays and entirely white Pikmin, which is a, a very unusual like um, team for this. And we have a lot of poison and we also have uh, candy pop buds that will give us purple Pikmin. I definitely want to take some time uh, to get purple Pikmin for this um, because to tell the truth, I haven't actually played challenge mode in ages. I can't remember the last time I played this, so to tell the truth, I don't have any idea about like a lot of- or I have very little uh, remembrance about like a lot of the um, later floors and like certain challenges, uh, so I will definitely be playing this safe. Um, also, you might have noticed, um, unlike in the main game, you can actually play the entirety of challenge mode in two-player. Uh, so yeah, you can actually go through all of these stages in co-op, which is actually really nice. I wish you could do that for the main game also. A hole that continues deeper underground has opened. Journey deeper for more treasures. I don't remember that prompt appearing every time, if I'm being honest. Um, so next up, we have to carefully make our way over to the exit. Luckily, there isn't too much here. Again, not overly concerned about um, treasures and high score. Um, so yeah, let's actually get some nectar for the Pikmin, uh, so they'll be a little bit um, tougher for the floors ahead, uh, like so. And we should be good to go. There are a lot of beetles on this floor, so if you wanted like more sprays or nectar, uh, that's an option. Also, the uh, glint beetle, as usual, has a treasure. have another two-floor cavern here. Um, also, by the way, you don't have any upgrades, uh, so like if we try to punch, we actually don't have the um, um, upgrade. Uh, so keep that in mind, especially when fighting specific enemies that you do not have things like, you know, fire resistance, potentially, um, which is definitely not great in, uh, uh, depending on how the later floors go, um, but, but we'll have to wait and see how uh, the later floors play out. Um, I have a gut feeling that this uh, Puffy Blowhog probably has the treasure. I feel like that's a fairly safe bet. Uh, so I'll fight this and see if my hunch is correct. Um, again, you can actually spend a lot of time looking for treasure here. Or you could simply make a beeline for the exit. Um, which again, is a lot safer uh, because I have actually run out of time uh, from trying to collect treasures. So yeah, I do recommend trying to play a little bit safe potentially. Look, the ground has cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. One option if you are trying to get a high score is to simply uh, collect the key ASAP and then as soon as you know you have it and you know where the exit is, leave a captain. Um, and then simply collect treasure until you're running out of time. But again, you do get a time bonus also, so there is some merit in trying to just uh, speed through these floors without necessarily collecting everything.
All right, so with uh, over 5,500 points, we got we got another perfect. Uh, so so far so good. Another thing worth mentioning is you might have noticed these flowers. If you lose Pikmin, there will be a white flower icon instead of a pink flower. Uh, we want all pink flowers. Um, but with that being said, next up is the lost toy box. We have a similar aesthetic to the Glutton's Kitchen, and a hundred yellow Pikmin for this. Uh, I actually don't remember the last time I fought a ball borb with yellow Pikmin, uh, so let's see how this goes. I do have bitter sprays, so if this goes horribly awry, we'll, we should still be safe. Um, case in point, things definitely went awry. Um, and some floors, they really don't give you enough bitter spray, in my opinion. Uh, meaning we actually might have to fight some pretty scary enemies later on, uh, which I can't say I'm looking forward to. I do remember the later challenges are actually pretty scary. A hole that continues deeper underground has opened. Journey deeper for more treasures. Alright, so that's just over here. On a slightly random note, it's actually kind of nice seeing this floor lit up. Obviously, we could see this if we went back to the Glutton's Kitchen after collecting the um, Stellar Orb. Uh, but it is actually kind of nice seeing this floor uh, fully lit up, unlike the first time through the Glutton's Kitchen. Uh, since this is basically the same floor, uh, we have two bitter sprays for this, so let's just use the other one uh, to clear out the orange ball orb. Again, I'm assuming. And I'm correct that this one has treasure. Um, or normally it can actually be pretty obvious which one will have the treasure. Like the most powerful, scariest enemy is typically the one you want to look out for for obvious reasons. Um, there are cases where it actually might be a little bit tricky finding uh, the key, and that's when things get really uh, nerve-wracking. Uh, when you genuinely have no idea where the key is, and your your time is quickly uh, running out. Um, yeah, overall, the first few sub-levels, or first few challenges, are just kind of designed to ease you in. It's a very different challenge mode from Pikmin 1, because that game involved, like, growing Pikmin on the above ground. So yeah, this is very different. Look, the ground is cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. Oh, there it is. I can't believe the game showed where it was, and I still was kind of like, uh, where is it? Um, it's right here. Uh, so we'll just break this and finish up another challenge. I was just thinking about how the time bonus is based on actual seconds remaining. So yeah, in general, if you if you do want a high score, time is kind of irrelevant based on the amount of points you get from the treasure. So yeah, if you're um, concerned about high scores, I would recommend not worrying about the time bonus at all.
So our next challenge is the creator's garden. We have a single floor uh, challenge area here. Um, I'm currently trying to assess where the key would actually be. Um, it could be with one of the Cromads. It could also be with the uh, Wallywog. Um, of the enemies on this floor, this is the scariest one. So we will use the better spray on the Wallywog. And it did not have the key. Um, Another potential candidate to have it is the Fiery Blowhog, just because of the idea of fighting a fire enemy with Blue Pikmin, even though, frankly, uh, you already do that a lot in the main game, uh, specifically with the Submerged Castle, so it really isn't actually that scary. Um, so yeah, if you ask me to basically pick the toughest enemy to have the key, uh, I can see why they went with the, the Fiery Blowhog, uh, but personally, that was actually very, very straightforward uh, compared to fighting a Wallywog. Look, the ground is cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. One problem with floors like this is... Um, how to describe this? You can't get like a time bonus for completing earlier floors, meaning you basically have to go through the entirety of this floor with the time you're initially given, um, which is definitely kind of scary, so I do recommend, you know, trying to collect the key relatively quickly, um, and make a beeline to at least clear out the exit, and then if you're concerned about high scores, then yeah, then you can go after the treasure, but definitely uh, prioritize finding the key first, otherwise uh, you won't be able to actually complete the stage, which would be a problem. Um, yeah, overall this wasn't too terrible. Luckily, uh, the enemies with the key, or the enemy with the key was relatively close to the uh, landing area. Kind of a low scoring uh, challenge, but uh, at least we got through in one piece. So our final challenge for the first row is the green hole. I know we're still on the first row, but things are already starting to heat up. Uh, we have two sets of Bulbmen, which is not my favorite thing in the world, uh, because we only have one better spray, and again, I don't really like fighting Bulbmen um, without uh, better spray. Um, does one of the Bulbmen have the key? I'm going to take a... Wait, I actually see it. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically have one captain go over here and lure the Bulbman uh, into one of these, like, alcoves. Uh, if I can position Olimar correctly like so, um, it'll basically run to the wall, and while it's doing that, I'll quickly, as Louie, make a beeline for the key. Um, again, this, the toughest part is actually getting through without losing Pikmin. The actual challenge is, like, if you're, if you're just concerned about score uh, and don't uh, want to worry about keeping Pikmin alive, this isn't actually that difficult. Uh, but yeah, the perfect run is challenging. A hole that continues deeper underground has opened. Journey deeper for more treasures.
Oh good, I was double checking if it's actually that one, because if it was that one, uh, we might have had a problem, actually. Floor, we have to fight a fiery ball blast uh, without any uh, bitter sprays, so we are definitely using a spicy spray for this. Um, I think this could go really poorly, to be honest. Uh, we might have to reset this floor and try again. Um, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully, with the spicy spray, even though we only have 20 Pikmin, uh, they'll be fast enough to get through this without too much trouble. Um, Dodge that, luckily, so we should be good to go uh, with all of our Pikmin uh, and the Spicy Spray. We managed to get through there uh, in one piece. That was definitely a little bit scary, though. I definitely recommend saving the Bitter Spray. Um, Look, the ground has cracked, indicating an inactive geyser. Have your Pikmin dig here. Well, at least this is a fairly small area, so it's not, like, really difficult to figure out where this is. Um, Alright, so the exit is right over here. I wonder why they give you uh, yellow and blue Pikmin for this, other than to, like, have more Pikmin to carry, but also not make it too easy to defeat the Fiery Ball Blacks. That's probably why. And that takes care of the first row of challenges, so, so far so good. So with that taken care of, I think we're going to save the next row uh, for next time and see how this goes. We definitely have some interesting uh, team compositions here, uh, like our first one with one of each type of the standard Pikmin, so that'll be very fascinating uh, to see how that plays out. Um, yeah, we have a long way to go to clear all these challenges. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope to join me next time for more Pikmin 2.